Hello everyone! This is Multi T4 Gaming joins today by Sam. Say hi Sam. Hello again. Hello! <laughs> and what we're going oh, to be doing hello, is an Extreme Landing Pro challenge, okay? So the challenge will be given to me by Sam. He's gonna give it to me. Um, and he's basically right now gonna tell me what it is. He has told me that it's gonna be with the Concord, but not really anything else. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do today, and I'm going to try to survive and actually land the plane, because you guys know by now I am a complete 100% Extreme Landings Pro master. Master at crashing planes, that is. Um, 100%. Excuse me. All right, maybe <clears throat> there's some fault in there, just a little bit. Maybe I'm not the best pilot that's ever flown in this game, but um, I'm pretty dang close, okay? <laughs> so, close, uh... Close to one. <laughs> yeah, close, close to... to crash. <laughs> yes yeah so uh yeah that's me all right so we're gonna do this in flight simulator apparently and i'm gonna need instruction from here sam airport we're going to airport right now mm -hmm. from then, brazil where's brazil okay Come brazil's on. here geography class do, 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 do. from sbgl okay sbgl sbsp uh sbsp okay yes. how do you pronounce that uh that word, Congonhas? No, Congonhas. 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 <laughs> Congonhas, okay. Confirming. Sounds uh, shiny. <laughs> it does. Uh, aircraft, <laughs> what what failure rate? Concord, high failure. Ah. Oh. Totally high. Yeah, great. That's totally just, high. That's just, that's just wonderful. All right. Now go to cool. aircraft side settings. Okay. 1% of fuel. 20% of fuel, full passengers, and full load. Okay, sweet. Uh, that's good 20%. then. Do, 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 do. What is the bad thing about this 20% of fuel is when, if you have a fuel leak, you're going to crash. Oh, yeah, good point. Crap. Well, not necessarily because I could transfer fuel over. These planes can fly pretty far on, on very little fuel. I mean, because they have big tanks, but the Concorde has the smallest, I think, out of all of them. And it can turn on the APU. So settings. Yeah, uh, good point. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Okay. Do 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 do. Overcast. Overcast. Storm. Storm. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah, I see how it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. How about just a little uh, bit uh, down here? 30 knots. 30 knots. Ah, fine. Okay. Got come it. On, come on. It's a piece of cake. Uh, I want to live. Cake. I choose life. <laughs> Oh, you're not going to chicken out, are you? Uh, I'll let you. Maybe. Look how beautiful it is. Uh -huh, uh, one thing yeah. that I haven't told you about your last video is I haven't told you if I wanted to external view of the cockpit view. I, I, I didn't say that because you were free to choose that. Uh, okay. And you, all, you also could, could uh, speed up the time. This so thing, we're doing that, this in cockpit view. Okay, you decided. All right, let's, let's do this. I'm go. going to go to the audio and turn up Extreme Landings audio a little bit. There. Sweet. Okay, now we actually have audio. Um, okay. We're going to turn these um, engines on. Why are you fueling? Oh, man. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Okay, fine. Okay. Turn on, turn on, turn on. Uh, ah! Sorry, no! I'm, a little, I'm a little rusty. I'm a little rusty. I'm a little rusty. Oh, that's all. We're gonna I watch slowly put the. Nope, I just knocked yeah, an engine you. out. Oh no! <laughs> oh, come on, Eli, I forgot to. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying. Okay, there. The engines are on. Um, be careful. All is basically Big. set. Do, do do do. Looking around because I like looking around the cockpit before taking off. All right. Do, 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 do. You oh, great! Look, we're taking time. off, and we you... just we don't even have to turn at all. Haha, -ha, We're just going straight there. Yeah. Yeah. But the problem is the. Wind. The wind won't keep you straight, for sure. Oh, but autopilot will. Oh, unless that's a... I'll bet you that's going to be a fault. I, w I wouldn't doubt but, it. But but you won't land in autopilot. You're going to land manually. Yeah, no, I can't land in autopilot in this game. It's way too hard. I've made a video of that, and it did not go well. All right, volume for Extreme Landings Pro is still, like, really, really quiet for some reason. I don't know why. All right. Plane is up. Ready to go. Um, do 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 anything else? Am I forgetting anything? No. All right. How is it? Let's go. Uh, the fuel should be at twenty percent. Uh, you'll be able to tell by the dials. Where are the, where are the dials? 
Um, they should be here. Great. What are you talking about? Oh my god. Ah! Oh I was, my god. I was looking for the dials. Oh my gosh, I think I this is like it. literally taboo. All right. No, no more no distractions. Okay. We're getting off the ground. Here we go. Oh my god. Ah! Ladies right. and gentlemen, breeze for impact. Yeah, seriously. Okay, take off. Road tight. And gear up. And then at 2,000 right. feet, we put the nose up. Oh my gosh, this wind is violent. What the heck? Yeah. It's no storm. way. Has it pushed us that far from the runway already? Oh, crap. Oh, man. Okay. Let's get to 2,000 feet. Come on. Yeah. Oh, I haven't even calculated, like, the height we're supposed to be at and everything. It doesn't care. Ah. Uh. only one mission. Land okay. And plane. Okay, sounds good. Let's get this up there. Okay, now we're going to put the nose up. Basically, it's pretty much fine. Okay. Nose is going up. Now, we're above Rio de Janeiro. Where is it, Christ? Oh, we just hit the speed of sound. I heard it. Oh, oh my god. Elijah, where is the Christ statue? What's the what? The Christ, Jesus statue. In the region. I don't think it's here. We are both here right now. What? There's, there's no Christ statue in, in the game, unfortunately. Oh my god. I flew, oh, I all, I flew all around Rio. I looked for it once. Could not find it. Rio's pretty oh, empty, unfortunately. Ortos, if you are hearing me right now, please put a cry. Yeah, seriously. But at the same time, there's there's no there's no Eiffel Tower, so we can't be that mad at them because you'd think the Eiffel but, Tower would be in there first. This wind is pushing us straight down. Yeah. My gosh. It's easy. But where where are you heading to? Ah, this is so. This wind is nuts, though. All right. Let's get this thing oriented in the correct direction again. Come on. I'm going up to 10,000 feet. I'm just going to hang out at 10,000. And then after that, we'll we'll basically lock the altitude. It's kind of hard to see also, you know, with this gigantic nose in the way. <laughs> and you're free to choose the camera. But that, that, that's I, no, I, I, when I choose the camera, I stay in that oh! camera. There Gosh. Go. I'm, I'm watching the game right now. Gaping made a goal. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. So it's yeah, not a guy uh, named a guy named Haraguchi. Haraguchi. Har Haraguchi. Alright, good. We're at Haraguchi. ten thousand. Um could you tell them what game you're watching? While I figure this out? Uh Japan versus Belgium. World All right. Cup. World Cup. Yep, the World Cup is currently happening right now, and I'm pretty sure. It's really big in Brazil, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. I, I mean, uh, I, I'm, I'm in college right now. I'm, I'm studying university, computer, computer science first. Mm -hmm. And as we had video game, uh, yeah, to, uh, how do I say it? Today in the morning, mm -hmm. and my class was in the morning. So the university was totally closed. No one was there. There's no <laughs> class because of the. That's and, insane. And you won. And Brazil's next game is gonna be on Friday. So again, no one's working, no one's studying. Everything's closed because of Brazil's game. And who's Brazil playing? Uh, who who now? Japan, because Japan and Belgium right now. If All Japan right. win, they're gonna face Brazil. Good deal. All right, now I gotta be super careful. I'm turning on the time thing a little bit. Um. Yeah. The reason being, no. because we have to be super careful. Otherwise, um, a fault might happen when we're not paying attention. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because we are on high it's faults, bad. and there has not been a single fault yet, which is actually really starting to worry me. Me too. Because that's it's really like. Boring when it happens. It's boring. Yeah, but at the same time, it's like, oh, uh, wait, let's check these. Oh, 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 see, we would have totally gotten wrecked. Oh, under pressure. Easily fixed, though. Let's try to get the oh. maximum thrust out of it without having it decrease in oil pressure. 
Can you put it on CL? It seems good. Looks like CL's working. We're not even climbing, so that's pretty good. Unfortunately, Extreme Landings Pro is a bit weird with its autopilot. Like, it doesn't follow normal procedures. It uses, literally, the autopilot uses Toga to catch up to, um, to, like, basically, if you choose a speed with autopilot, um, it'll just use Toga. Like, it, w it won't use CL, it'll use Toga to, and if you bring it down to CL, you won't get anywhere near your max, uh, cruising at speed, basically. It's kind of frustrating. It's weird. So yeah. weird. Where are you going? Let, let me let me tell you a curiosity about the airport you're going, SBSP. All right. It's just it's just the most dangerous airport in Brazil. Oh what? It's the most dangerous is the most dangerous airport in Brazil and let in South America. Why? It's because because the, it's literally on the middle of the city. It's a we have a lot of buildings around it around the 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 runways. Uh -huh. And the runway is really, really... Oh, go! They've been again. So, nice. <laughs> I can distract it easily. No problem. <laughs> but it, the, the runway is really small. Really small. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of building, buildings around it. Oh, man, I'm terrified. So, the, the last accident we had, we had here was in 2007. Are you serious? Plane... That recently? 2007. Yeah, Holy. a plane was going to land, but it was raining, and the pilot said wrong, the reverse, then it's Olga. And the, the plane uh, couldn't break it, got out of the, got off, I don't know how to say that in English. So, the, yeah, basically, they couldn't get the V1 the or the V2. No, while landing, while landing. While landing, he, was he land had to use Tuga, he had to go around, right? Yeah, but he didn't. He but didn't. he didn't make it. Because he was a really, really strong storm. Oh, damn. And he pulled, he, he pulled the, the, the engine number one on reverse, but the engine number two was in Toga. So oh, shoot. The plane, so the plane didn't stop. Dang. So but how, wait, how did he... So wait, was the engine messed yeah. up then? How did he, like... You have to pull them all back. All the lo levers are there. You can see yeah, in all but, the planes. But, this, yeah, the that, that's that, that's a deal because uh, that, airplane, that airplane was already in problem because the reverse of the engine number two, which was in Toga, wasn't working. So the, oh. the captain probably thought, oh, if I do it, on, if the engine got in on Toga or not, it won't be... You won't have any difference because it's not working. Yeah. Hmm. So it was the runway, and almost two thousand two hundred people were killed. Holy crap! And we're about to land there. What the heck? Oh my god! No! What? We lost the radar. Oh, the speed. Wait, but the speed and radar. ah, but but uh, oh. see now we can't set the cruise control for that. But on the bright side, great! I just messed it up. Um, yeah, darn it. Oh, engine number one. Yeah, we gotta be careful with this engine here. I'm gonna just cut it as when we get there, so I don't have to deal with it. Um. Operator and engine. Whoa, that doesn't look good, does it? Whoa. <laughs> ah! oh, yeah. <laughs> On the bright side, it's actually autopilot taking us down to 5,000 feet, and the engine's just smoking because it's smoking. But it's all in good condition actually right now. The oil pressure stabilized. It's good. Let's pretend it's good. I want to get a good thumbnail. If we can get a lightning bolt behind us right there, um, that'll be a good thumbnail. Anyway, um, what what are you gonna do right now? I mean, you're too far away from the the. I'm not that far, airport, but right, right now, now I could pull out my. Uh, I have a whole thing of notes. Oh man, but it's on a Google Doc, so I can't talk about it right now. But I have literally. I'm gonna send it to you actually as soon as we finish. And, um, it's actually a flight procedure for, like, a full flight procedure for next generation of flight simulator walkthroughs. But for a stream landing? Or yep. for another game? Nope, stream landings, flight simulator walkthroughs. I'm gonna even use, I even got my friend Echo to record flight attendant, um, audio. Oh, Echo, where's Echo? Mm-hmm. It's been She's... a long time. These are gonna be some good where's thumbnails. That? 
Ah, uh, she's playing a lot of Overwatch right now. She's been doing a lot of Overwatch recently. Really? Mm-hmm. But she's still around. I've talked to her pretty recently. She disappeared. I, I haven't seen her anymore. Yeah, a lot of people disappear. It just happens. But I've talked to her. I'm, I just played, actually, uh, Euro Truck Simulator with her brother yesterday. Her brother? Her brother, Cheese. What? You know, Trucking with Cheese? Oh, Cheese. Uh, Cheese is the brother of... Oh, my God. Mind-blowing. Yeah, I know. I was. It was mind-blowing for me, too, when I realized that. Because I was friends with both of them before I realized they were siblings. I thought I thought they they were all in French. I think I nope. Thought, wow, they're siblings. Wow, wow. Yeah. Oh my god. It's crazy, huh? I don't have any. All right, let's see. Where are we? Okay, it's have... funny. You can still see where we are. We're getting kind of close, but we're a little off target. Yeah, I'm going to SBGR. It's still São Paulo, but the wrong airport. Yeah, I think we're heading in the right direction now. Going pretty fast though. We're gonna bring the speed down to 600 knots. Well, now nah, we're getting pretty close. I'm gonna bring it down to 400 actually. 460. Normal speed for another relatively normal airliner. Um, I'm also going to. Whoa, that just got really loud really fast. I don't know why. <laughs> Knocks the engine out just because the game just got really loud all of a sudden. You still there, Sam? Oh no. We've lost Sam. Okay, we're still good. But we lost Sam. Guys, it's just you and me now. Our co pilot's missing. I don't like this one bit. Alright. I'm gonna have to pause, see if I can get a hold of Sam again. What Skype literally just quit? Ah! What in the world? I don't know why, but Skype just quit. What happened? Literally the worst time. What happened? I don't know. What, what, what? Skype crashed. I don't know why. Yeah, for me too. Let me see you. Oh, uh, uh, let me see you. Weird. All right, can you see my screen again? Yeah. All right, we're back in business then. Um, Let's go. We're getting pretty close. Yeah. I blew this engine Um, because we don't need it. You, you blew it? Why? Yeah, because we would have to deal with it. Engine 1 is already being a butt right now. Okay, I'm going to turn off the autopilot now. We're getting pretty dang close. Um, because I couldn't use the monster throttle then. Yeah. True. Otherwise, yeah, I'd, I I kind of would like to see now. Oh my Airport? gosh, dude! I'm not sure if I'll be able to land uh, this. No brakes. Oh crap! You said this was a short airport. Yeah. So. Totally. Oh man, we're screwed. No, Can we ran out. We ran out of fuel, dude. We ran out of fuel. What? Yeah. Oh, let's see if it's I a leak. You. Is it a leak? Yep, it's a leak. You're gonna crash, you're gonna crash. Nah, we're good. We're still 2,000, 3,000 feet in the air. Do you remember Gibraltar? Yep, I remember Gibraltar. I don't want to talk about Gibraltar. <laughs> a little bit shorter. Uh, it'll be shorter than Gibraltar? A little bit. What? But dude, yeah. we don't have brakes. In, in real life, Gibraltar has uh, 10,000 feet long. But yeah. on on Congonia, you have only seven thousand feet. Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm gonna need to take a look out here. It's it's it is way way shorter than most of the airports. Holy crap! Place. All right, we're gonna do a flyby first, okay? Just to scout it out. Yeah. Sure. Just be careful with the fuel. Right there, can you see? It? Yeah, we're good on fuel. Like as long as it, we've we've only used half of the fuel so far, so we still have time. Yeah, this is it. Where we're, not, so we're not gonna land, but uh, we're gonna look at it and then we're gonna come by and actually land. But you're so fast. 500 knots without brakes? Oh my god. Oh no. No, we're not trying to land right now. We're just doing a flyby. Ah, thank god. Yeah, sorry, I didn't make that clear. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen who are watching this video, I hope you enjoy your flight. And yeah. If it happens, if thank you for happens, choosing if... multi airlines. <laughs> yeah, thank you. If you crash or if you got if, if you get hurt, we have only one thing to say you to say to you. We've told you. We've told you. Yeah, we, we warned have, you. But don't worry. Warned you. But don't worry, we have a pilot here who has over one thousand hours of flight. Please don't be scared. But on these 1,000 hours of flight, he only crashed 950 <laughs> hours of them. That's so right. 50 hours of pretty cool landing. Yeah. And All right, guys. Here, here comes the landing. And, oh, my God. All right. I'm going gonna, gonna to so crash it. No landing gears. Oh, my God. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. We still have the air brake. Oh, MG, gonna crash. And the gear is down. What, what, what is the landing speed to install in the, in the airplane? One seventy knots. With full. I don't passengers. know. I, no, I don't know what stalling is, but I the optimal landing speed of a Concorde is one hundred seventy. With full passengers and full load. Ah, uh, probably. I don't know. I don't know what it would be with full passengers and full load. What I do know is that I can't see the runway right now because of this stupid nose. Me neither. Oh, gonna crash. We're good, we're good. We're going 210. Gears down. Oh man, this wind is a disaster though, dude. <sighs> Told you. I've warned you, I've warned you. Oh, I can't see the runway. How am I supposed to land without the runway? Oh, because with the landing panel. 50, okay, I see 40, it. 30, 20. Retard, retard, retard. All right, here we go. Oh, ah! no. <laughs> Woo, we're down. We're down. Full back, full back, full back. Stop, 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 stop. I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Stop pressuring me. Ah! We don't have brakes. We only have this air brake. OMG. Oh, no, we're not going to make it, dude. No, we are. We're Maybe. under 100 knots. That means we can go off the... Because it's 100 knots that breaks the gear. Oh, you did it! Well, I think we, we did! Oh, I think we turned this oh. plane! Look at oh. that! Oh. <laughs> that was a crazy freaking landing. That was an extreme landing. We did it, dude! Oh, oh my god. I'm sure... If, if I told you to go with calm winds, with open skies, and with the Airbus, you would crash this airplane. <laughs> it's so true. Honestly, I would. Oh, man, that was a real, that was really tough to land, actually. I was really stressed out that I wasn't going to make it. But we did. And, and let's count I up our five faults. Know. What were the five if, faults? If, if we had, yeah, what are the five faults? I only saw three. Well, okay, so the radar went off. That was one. We didn't have brakes. That was two. Um, one of the engines decided to try to blow up. That was three. Uh, we lost all the fuel on one side, so that's four. Um, what was the fifth one, though? There should be five, right? Five faults? Yeah. yeah. There must have been another one that was, like, a little bit more low-key, you know? Right. I'm not sure, and though, but we we landed that sucker in 30 knot wind, wow. in a storm, with in the cockpit. That was freaking amazing. Anyway. Yeah, we did it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sam, I'm going to be looking to get a lot more challenges yeah. from you because um, <laughs> this was a lot of fun. Because a lot of my Extreme Landings Pro videos, in fact, basically all of them. Dude, this might be the first Extreme Landings Pro video that I've done not like not alone i think every yeah. other extreme landings pro video i've done like i've done oh. um all by myself this one i actually have somebody else with me what's the best about this is i actually like felt like you were my my co-pilot which is freaking amazing so we got to do this more often and roar just needs to make he multiplayer he was freaking scary for you he was amazing for you he was scary for me I was about to die here. Well, you were about to die, and then you disappeared. You disappeared as soon as the radar went off. You, like, Skype crashed, and you disappeared. And I was like, ah, Sam! <laughs> the radar. The radar. You lost the radar. You lost everything. 
Yeah, we lost quite a bit. So, good deal. Thank you guys so much for watching, everybody who stuck it through with us till the end. You guys, I consider you guys our passengers, so that means we saved your lives as well. So, um, you would better subscribe and hit the like button because that right there is, uh, is, a good, is a good enough thank you for me. You know, I save your life, you like my video. That's a good, that's a good trade-off in my opinion. What do you think, Sam? It's pretty good. Uh, I think we, we use life, our lives because we almost died here. <laughs> we, we did almost die. We did almost die. So, uh, <laughs> good deal. So you, well, you landed off the runway. Would you, w we is there a, a single I, other I, pilot I, you would I, want your life in the hands of? Absolutely not. To be honest, I tried to do this challenge like a year ago. Yeah. I tried, I tried twice and I crashed it twice. Yeah, well, Before the faults are always different. We, we could have been unlucky. We could have gotten the faults where four of the five faults were the engines all blowing up. Like, you know, or we could have gotten the faults where all the fuel from both sides leaks out. And then there's just really nothing you can do. So five faults are sometimes impossible. But that's part of the part of the game. Or even the rudder. Yeah. Yeah, the rudder. The, that's with, with, often a the problem. The rudder. Because you got full wind. Yeah. Without the rudder, you. Yeah, that would be a disaster. Be without the rudder, we would be toast. Yeah. <laughs> All yeah. right, good deal. Well, expect to see many of these videos in the future, guys. I love you all, and say bye, Sam. Bye, see ya. Super for you all. All right, bye, guys.